But I've played a, a handful of those, and I've been... Watching just an absolute shitload of anime. That's that's what I spend a lot of my time doing is just sort of consuming television shows. The the ones I kind of shot through. I've been mostly looking for for shorter series. Or at least like series that are kind of complete when I when I can find them. Uh, which is why I watched Well, that's not why I watched. Let me let me step back a little bit actually. So I um sorta was just like trying to find some more stuff to watch because I arguably have time on my hand. I don't have energy on my hand. Which is why I haven't really been playing a ton of video games. Um, but I did have time to sit there and veg out. Which is why... Ooh. Brave Bird Black Quill Armor. That sounds fancy. Uh, and so, looking through some random junk, oh, we kind of have one, it's just a different version of it. This one just has a cape. I could get caped bird armor, instead of just regular bird armor now. I, I don't hate it. But it is very goofy. Having these big swishy wings. Um, so... There's some weird... Frankly, I don't think particularly good... Uh, that wasn't the right one, was it? No, where's... There it is. There's some anime that I watched the first couple episodes of and was like, I'm not liking this very much called... Fuck, what is it called? Miss... Something Miss Servant? You are Miss Servant, I think? And it is very obviously uh... Inspired might not be the right word, but it's not the wrong word either. Uh, inspired by one of Gainax's, like, last animes that they made from the, like, 2001 or something. And so I actually went back and found that, that Gainax show called, uh, fuck, what is it called? Mahoromatic? I think it's Mahoromatic. Ow. Fucking... These goddamn bugmen. Uh, Mahoromatic. So, that was like a two-season show, I think. So it was like 20-something episodes. And so I watched through that. I, I might have watched that, like, a couple weeks ago. I've, I've been kind of catching up, I guess, on some stuff. Um, that show is of its time, is how I'm going to describe it today. Uh, it's kind of like a comedy show that, for some reason, has this wild world building with fucking aliens and... The premise is like this battle droid or battle robot uh, 
has served her time, more or less. Um, and so rather than spending, like, nine more days of her life fighting aliens, she is allowed to retire and go just, like, try to live in the real world, I guess, for a little bit over a year. Uh, and that, that kind of like earliest bit of premise then goes into a comedy show where she's working as a maid for some kid who, for whatever reason, has like a fucking mansion to himself, <laughs> but we'll not go into that. Um, and she comes and becomes his maid, and then you get, like, you get a bunch of, like, little bits of, like, I want to say backstory, but that's not quite right. Like, it is backstory, you find out stuff like, oh, the reason she went to this kid is it turns out this kid's dad was one of the, like, generals of the company or whatever that she... Fuck me. Uh, existed as a part of. Um. And she maybe has some kind of guilt for, like, having to kill him in order to kill one of the aliens or something. Like, he died in the process, so this is her... How she decides to, like, make amends or something. Hey, Caustic. It's Erd Tree time. I hate these bugmen. Just like I hated them in the base game. Please, please just die, you fucking guy. I have been enjoying the DLC. Uh... For lack of a better way of putting it, it kind of feels a lot more like a Dark Souls game rather than Elden Ring, and I like that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, anyway. The, the thing that makes this show end up feeling, like, wildly dated is... Uh, turns out the comedy of that show is, like, 90% about boobs... That's, that's just, that's just what, what the comedy of that show is about. It's just boobs. She's insecure about this kid's fucking wildly horny teacher. This kid's wildly horny teacher. Like, th this kid is fucking 14 years old. His teacher is super horny and, like, got giant breasts and that makes the maid... Insecure about her small robot breasts. That is like 60% of the jokes in that show. I don't think it held up very well. It's basically how I'm putting it. The, the, the like weird, gross teacher stuff aside. The comedy just didn't hold up particularly well. Uh, but I watched that. And because that was on a streaming service I don't normally have access to. Uh, I actually ended up just like buying a month of the streaming service High Dive. So I have been kind of shotgunning through a lot of High Dive stuff. I could try Fable on Hulu. Maybe I will. Um, but the stuff I've watched on High Dive now are... Um, what was I watching? I watched this weird show because it was it was like a, a high dive exclusive that that's kind of part of what I've been doing is trying to trying to find like the high dive exclusives I guess so they had like a section that was like hey 
Why did that not backstab for me? I hate you bugs. Okay. Not die? No. We died. I hate these bugs. <laughs> um... So it has a section of like, hey, here's some stuff that's kind of exclusive to High Dive. Or maybe like a, hey, High Dive is like a honestly smaller streaming service than a lot of these other ones. So they have a way more limited selection and they have a section that's kind of like, hey, what is High Dive about? How do I like the Scorpions? The Scorpions have seemed fine. They just sort of die, but... But they are very spider-like. I can see why uh, someone who doesn't like spiders might find those things unpleasant. Um, but I watched a show called Call of the Night. I think it was called Call of the Night. That feels right. I'm just going to fucking run past these guys. Fuck these guys. Y'all ain't seeing shit. That stuff tracks the horse too good. Why do you bugs track horse too good? Leave me alone. Uh, Call of the Night was kind of about a fucking... Honestly, like, oh shit. Call of the Night seems like it was kind of about, like, an autistic guy who, uh, meets a vampire late at night and decides he wants to be a vampire, and to do that, he needs to figure out how to fall in love with a vampire. So, oh, fuck, hey, big guy. Give me a moment. Uh... And I, I'm not trying to say autistic in, like, a pejorative way, either. I mean, like, literally the character... Like, a whole bunch of his whole deal, like, everything he's about is, like, trying to understand how people have emotions. And, like, what those emotions mean. And, like... Trying to to understand whether or not he actually had any friends at school, which he's no longer going to and stuff. It's like, it's fucking kind of weird and doesn't like say he's autistic, but like there there's a fair amount there that is very much like this character seems like that's what's going on here. Um... No, show was okay. I actually... It was like 13 episodes or something. Uh, and then I watched... I watched Akiba Maid War. Which was just fucking insane. Akiba Maid War is... Uh, how would I describe this? It is... A like... Crime drama? Crime slash mafia drama? About maid cafes? But maid cafes are all part of like a mafia syndicate or something? It's fucking wild. Uh, and did not end... Did not end where I was expecting it to. Not not just because of, you know, it's a crime story, what's going on, but like... For a, for a wildly, like, it, it's a maid cafe comedy show, ostensibly. But it, it really goes through some lengths to try to bring the, like, crime syndicate tragedy shit to the forefront as well in some kind of wild ways. 
Uh, overall, pretty good show. But those are kind of the ones I've shotgunned through recently. I feel like there was some other stuff I watched, but I can't remember what I talked about on stream or not. <laughs> In the last, like, month or so. Oh, hey, Scorpions. You were just talking about these guys. Yeah, these, these things are like... Oh, hey, other Scorpion. These things are, like way too spidery to be scorpions in a way that like I get it but also uh, they, they sort of just feel like they fall apart they don't seem particularly oh this one flies how nice they don't seem particularly uh, hard to deal with in general in my experience hey big bear where the fuck am I I'm just going into this random ass forest. Okay. Looks like there's like a house looking thing up on a hill somewhere. It's like way up there. That's up on a cliff. Okay. Let's go explore the forest a little bit. Do do do. Other than that, you know, I'm continuing to watch Dan to Dan. Dan Dawn to Dawn? I don't know. It's probably Dan to Dan. Uh, I think I like that show. I think that show seems like it's going to be pretty good. I think they've done five episodes now. That's usually around where I say, hey, let's uh, let's say whether or not we we feel like this is worth watching. I think Dan to Dan is probably worth watching. I'm, I'm going to go out on record and say that now. Um, if nothing else, some of the animation stuff is just visually really fucking good because, you know, it's Sai and Saru. They're, they're a good company, a good animation studio. They tend to put out some pretty visually interesting stuff, if not uh, high quality Hey, bear. Oh, hey, multiple bears. I didn't realize there was going to be multiple. Alright. Yeah, no, I know. It's fine, bear. Just take me. One, I didn't think you were going to wake up. I was just going to grab that stuff and go. And two, I was not expecting multiple. Alright. I guess I got to fight some bears, huh? Let's, um, maybe use our shield if we're going to do bears. Go back to our, our tried and true weapon to fight some bears. Which fucking direction am I going? This way. All right, large bear. There's one of you. Hey, bud. has uh, a lot of health, huh? Borderline a boss bear? Yeah, take that bleed damage. I know you have a weak point in your face. I'm just not running up there when you can die. Oh no, this might be unbearable. Oh no! All 
All right, there were at least two more of these bears, huh? Still kind of trips me out that like everywhere in this world is just covered in these fucking ghost tombstones. Like truly has that many people died everywhere? Bring it, bear. That leap move is the only one that ever gets me, huh? I say right before getting fucking smacked by something else, probably. Nope. Just by the charge again. is a very run around. Whoa, you have a fucking ranged attack? Me too. And now you're stuck, maybe? Alright. These bears got ranged attacks. That's actually kind of terrifying. Got any more giant bears? Where the fuck did I die? Oh, I died like way further into this forest than I realized. Now I'm kind of hoping... You do think the DLC is overall stellar? Yeah. I've been getting through it pretty damn slow. Uh, the only really streaming once a week thing. Definitely not helping with that. Oh, God. Come on, man. You trigger from that far away. All right. All right. Come here. One on one. No? Yes? One on one, me bro. Ta think taking it slow is good. I do want to, like, get through it. Uh, oh, no, I fucked up. God damn it. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, I didn't die. Okay. I want to get through it before the end of the year, and, like, there's other stuff I want to play before the end of the year. But at the rate I'm going, I feel like we're probably... I mean, I guess we've uncovered a lot of the map at this point. Maybe, maybe there's less left to do than I think. How did you not stagger yet, my guy? Right, I'm getting him. Oh, that's a cliff. Hey, don't push me off the cliff, please. I would appreciate that. Alright, alright, 
Slow and steady. Yoink. Really throwing daggers? Throwing daggers and lumps of flesh, that was all you bears were guarding? I am so disappointed in you bears. So Caustic, what'd you end up doing for Halloween? I know our normal Thursday night stuff got canceled kind of last minute. Pretty sure I spent my Halloween watching fucking anime. <laughs> oh, you know what anime I watched that I don't think I've talked about on, on stream? And it was kind of, um... I don't know, seasonally appropriate? Hey, Rose Red, thir 73 months. Oh my god, that's a lot. I don't know why the alert didn't make a noise. But thank you very much for the continued support. I do appreciate it. You played the new Dragon Age. How, how are you liking that so far? I've, I've seen a little bit of mixed stuff about it, but I'm not much of a Dragon Age person, so I don't know... How much of that is people just being fucking stupid these days? Everybody flipping out about shit being woke these days, you know? Combat feels more soulsy, to be honest. Weird. It was originally a birthday present to yourself? Oh, well, I'll, I'll consider it a birthday present to me, too. Thank you very much, Rose Red, and happy birthday again. Um, anywho. I watched this silly show called... Mi Miracle-chan, I think? Something like that. Um, which is a show about a girl who sees ghosts. It was thematically appropriate for October, which is part of why I was watching it, actually. Uh, and I ended up liking it more than I expected to. I kind of thought it might just be a little bit throwaway. And frankly, it kind of wraps up... Uh, ooh, leather headband. Gloried attire. It kind of wraps up a little bit... I don't know quicker and weirder than I kind of thought it would. It feels like they, at like episode 10, went, oh shit, we only have three episodes left. When when they wanted to have like another five or six, maybe? Um, but it was a pretty enjoyable show, all, all things considered. It goes for the horror without being like, uh, what am I looking for? It It isn't, like, horrific and jump scary. It's just, like, creepy and uh, kind of gross with the way that they depict the ghosts and everything in a kind of a fun way. Um, the, the spiritual world in general gets depicted in kind of a, a fun and interesting way. And it does a little bit more playing... Uh, Playing some of the scenarios for comedy's sake. Uh, you know, like, the one girl can see super scary ghosts, and some other girl can also see ghosts, but can't see the big scary ones. Oh, that one looks... That bear's looking a little more fucked up than the other bears, huh? Okay. This bear got horns. 
This may not be a boss. This seems to be a boss. Rugalia the Great Red Boar. I definitely hit dodge as though I was playing Monster Hunter. Mistakes were made. Oh, fuck off. I thought I dodged it. It has a, it has a little extra hit on the back end. All right. Now we know. All right, there's a there's a boss bear. I guess all these other bears probably respawn then, huh? Yeah, god dang it. All right, how few of these bears can I fight on the way to boss bear? I can fight zero of them. Excellent. No, nope, you don't see me yet. Don't worry about it. Everything's cool, man. All right, Regalia. I'm just gonna go grab my souls or runes or whatever. Cool. Hello, Great Red Bear. Oh, hey, you turned around. Oh, he got the grab. Big slam one, I see that now. It does do the like, whoop. You can see the kind of ground effect if you're looking for it. My God, bear. Show your shit. Okay. All right, he got a roar. Are you more mad now? Is that what's up? No, my follower! No, my follower! Okay. I thought that was gonna be a slam, not a swipe. Yeah, he's got the swipes from the weapon that we stole from that guy. I, I keep reading that as a slam. I, I, every time he does that rear back, I think it's a slam, so I'm trying to, like, get away from it. But it's a lunge. All right, we got it this time. And if we don't, I'm just gonna summon the big tier. I ain't trying to get stuck on bosses, you know? I think we got it though. I just need to be a little less, uh... bad at reading his moves. That's what I need to be a little less of. Hey man, you seen my souls? There they are. Don't mind me. Give me a moment. Ancestral follower, run away! Oh, I jumped too early. Shit. Oh, 
Aha, you can't pick that guy up. Got the jump there. Game disagreed. Got a bleed ready for you, boy. Not doing the crazy swipes this time? Oh, I, that was bad. That was bad dodge. Oh, I think we got it this time. My fucking follower's not dead yet. It apparently decided to just not do the crazy swipes. Easy. Easy. 